Hundreds of people are being laid off at Herbrook's poultry ranch because of the ongoing bird flu crisis here in our state. I talked with the director of MDARD and a local farmer turned state representative about what this means for Michigan, our wallets and our food supply. Herbrook's poultry ranch says roughly 400 employees at five Iona County farms are out of a job thanks to the bird flu. In a statement sent to 13 on your side, CEO Greg Herbrook says, we understand this is a stressful situation for our team members and we are working with our state partners to provide them with resources, answer questions and assist in their individual family situations. The company says many layoffs are expected to be temporary until hen and egg numbers rise. Tim Boring is the director of the State Department of Agriculture and Rural Development or MDARD. Probably the largest response that our department has ever had to a disease outbreak here in the state. He says that last check, there are seven infected commercial flocks and 14 dairy farms across Michigan. We've seen a significant hit to poultry here in Michigan, in both egg laying operations and turkey. The true extent of, of those economic implications is, is uh, something we're continuing to assess. We might not have seen the peak of this at this point. Thanks to national supply, though, he says you don't need to worry right now about finding eggs or turkey at the store. But I think it's logical to expect some ramifications on prices <clears throat> and on, on shelves. State representative for the 92nd House District and dairy farmer Jerry Nyer says while his farm hasn't been hit by the bird flu, he's being cautious. Nyer is part of a group of legislators that meets with MDARD about the situation routinely. So that way we can continue to communicate with our constituents and the general public how, how it's being handled. The big questions right now, he says, how is this spreading and what's the treatment?